So right now Bobby's driving the car. You'll notice she's driving on the left side. The left side the right of the side road. Of the car. See all the foliage? We're in Queenstown! Yay! We're in Queenstown. Beautiful we Queenstown. So Bo, what are your first impressions of this city? We're in Queenstown. It's pretty nice. The water is very clear. Mm-hmm. See? You can see the rocks below. There are some ducks over there. Just being ducks. There's a harbor. See this mountain range here? Well, that's only part of it. It also goes, there's Bo. It goes up over that way. I guess you can't really see it, but that mountain trees is called the Remarkables. Lay out the napkins. Take out the silverware. How many half gallons of water do you have on you today? Oh, you got your food? Okay. Now, what is, is that a, a slice of a pork? I'm just gonna sit down. Take a bite out of the pork. Have a nice snack. Oh my God. So beautiful. Okay. Hydration is key. So we've been walking around. What time is it, Bob? Right now it is. 5.15 p.m. New Zealand time. Yep, 5.15. So that's what time in America? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 15 a.m. America time. So you're asleep, Gibbs. East Coast time, probably. We're about to go go back to the hostel and some supper. Maybe take a look at the beautiful sunset. Yeah, we'll see what we can see. Enjoy the garden But it's more. still light while the light lasts. How's your granola bar there? It's actually really good. I'm going to save you half. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Signing off. All right. Talk to you later, big dude. Get in, the, get in the frame here. We wanted to show you we're at the scenic lookout, looking behind us at the giant mountains all around us. Positively beautiful. Positively beautiful. We're about to enter Homer Tunnel. We are going through this mountain. It says, Pass Bay Starts. Oh my gosh. Look at the rock this is coast. really scary. And we've come out of the other side of the tunnel. I feel like a new person. Onto these beautiful roads. It's a one lane tunnel. You have to wait in line for the other side to come through. So they're stopping. What can I do? This bus is pulling over. 25, it says. Okay. 
This is gonna be a sharp turn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, we're like doing a U-turn. Oh my gosh. Keep it tight. Look where the little entrance is up there. Yeah, that's where we came out of. Oh. That's crazy. This is wild. on my face. Crazy, twisty, and windy roads. You can see there's a turn up ahead. Are you facing forward? Yeah. Double staircase Double lookout. staircase lookout. 300 well, kilometers. The... Yeah, I don't know if we want to stop here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at this road. This is great driving. Whoa. Oh, I can speed up to 65? Oh, you can go to 65 kilometers? <laughs> now, mind you, 65 is like 30 miles per Look hour. at this road. Oh, my gosh. I'm supposed to be taking these corners at like 15, 20 miles per hour, which I am. Which you are. I <laughs> definitely am, but like just for reference. Look at this twisty, windy road. Yay. <laughs> That's so cool. You can see up ahead how the little like peninsula things jut out into the lake, too. We're yeah. driving there. Yes, we are like, going to be driving five on minutes. that. minutes. <laughs> Can you speak a little bit a bit on your confidence of driving on the other side of the road? Has I would say nine out of ten at this point. Have you improved? Do you think? Yes. When you first drove on the other side of the road, were you a little nervous? Oh, back you know, forty-eight hours ago, <laughs> um, those were some rough times. Yeah. Almost turned onto the right. Because you seem no, pretty really. confident. Yeah. I mean, yeah. granted, so a lot of the roads that we've been driving on so far, as you can see, there's two lanes of traffic. There's one going one direction and one going the other direction. So as long as you stay in your lane, you know, it'll, it, the road kind of does it for you. Yeah. So it's not that bad. And <laughs> the one the one tricky part that both me and Bobby have been tripped up a little bit on is that the indicator blinker lights is on the right side. So when you want to turn left, you have to use your right hand to hit the blinker or whatever. Yeah, but accidentally. Yeah, but in America, when we drive on the right, those indicators are on the left. So... But that's where our windshield wiper stick is. So we've, when we want to turn, we've been turning on the windshield wipers by accident. <laughs> <laughs> it may be a dead giveaway if someone is not from the, yeah. from New Zealand. If you see them that's flashing right. their Ooh, windshield we're about to wipers. Go another... yeah. Yeah. And look, look out the window. The window so this is Lake Wakatipu. Lake we Wakatipu. We were driving the other way on this road two days ago. And we got to Mumford Sound, and now we're heading back to Queenstown. So go, want to tell them about our plans for the day? So today we originally had planned to do a hike approaching Mount Cook. Yes. Uh, we were going to go up and hopefully see a glacier. Well, yeah, glacial lake. Touch some glacial lakes um, that flow off of the mountain. However, we checked the weather report and it looks like it's going to be a rainy, rainy today. and about four degrees Celsius all yeah. day. So it's going to be chilly and wet, and uh, we've decided to call the hike. So instead, we're going to make our way back to Queenstown, which is on the way to 
peekaboo where we're sleeping tonight. Uh, and we're gonna visit the Kiwi Wildlife Park. Yeah, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, and at the Kiwi Wildlife Park, they have kiwi, which are a very rare bird here in New Zealand. Endemic. Endemic to New Zealand. And uh, they're gonna have a feeding at 10 o'clock, so we can go see the see the kiwi, which are very rare. Yeah. And you wouldn't probably see them in the wild otherwise. You would definitely not see them in the wild otherwise. Come look how pretty it looks in the viewfinder. Just like look at the, the screen. It's so like blue. Yeah. It's reflective. Hey, Ba, what's going on? Hi, Ba. So right now we are driving out of Kayawa. That is where EcoQuest is. We stopped in there last night. It was our first night sleeping in this camper van, which was an adventure in and of itself. Um, Want to point the camera back there? Yeah. Um, the what, seats, they turn into a bed, basically. What kind of camper van do we get? We got a juicy camper. A camper. Camper. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty neat. But also, yeah, so we're leaving. It was raining last night, lots of rain and wind. But then the sky is starting to clear, and we have a rainbow. Can you see the rainbow in the shot right now? Insert picture of Insert rainbow, rainbow later. Yes. So, yeah, I guess it's still a little drizzly, but we're heading on to the Hanua Ranges, and we're going to do a hike um, and see Hanua Falls, and then start driving south towards Tongariro, because so we're going to do the Alpine Crossing tomorrow. So, pretty excited. We had breakfast in the back of this car. It's yogurt, granola, and stuff. Have a fun fun? Yeah. yeah. We'll see you at the waterfall. Hi, so today we're hiking in the Hanua Ranges, and it was a beautiful hike out there in the forest for a while. We're doing a loop. We, uh, we did two hours of the track, and then we went to come turn back, and it says the trail was closed, so here we're, we've been walking on the road. And this is why the trail is closed. Can you see that washout right now? That's just all mud, all mud. So I bet that's what the trail looks like. And due to that, I'm happy that we are walking on this here road. Underneath our feet is just a big pool of lava that's boiling around and then in different places along the ground there's vents and that's where it's coming out. There are certain areas more susceptible to the heat release. So you see here it's just literally clouds of steam coming out of the ground. It's dangerous. Um, we were told that you know to stay on the track here because if you step off only a foot, less than a foot underneath us, is um, boiling temperatures, 100 degrees Celsius. So we're definitely going to stay on the tracks here. But this whole area is just full of geothermal activity. Apparently the whole North Island is in New Zealand. Um, shortly we're going to climb up a track and put to the lookout track and hopefully we'll be able to see Mount Ropehu, Mount Tongariro, all those. And I think the lava underneath us is attributed to those volcanoes. Oh, here's a crater right now. Looks like this. That's so cool. Water algae, lichen and stuff. 